Hi, Taurus. It's Elle here to do your love reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please uh, continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. So we have malady or malady. We have letter and we have faithfulness. Some of you, you, you can't get out of bed. You can't, you're lovesick when you don't hear from this person. When somebody is not communicating with you, when you're not getting the communication that you need, it changes your mood. It's, you know, there could be mood swings. You try to stay in a high vibration, but it really upsets you. It puts you in a place of low you know, depression. You try to suppress your emotions or your thoughts because you try to stay, you know, you know, uplifted. You're really wanting this relationship. You're really wanting a commitment. Your faithfulness is here, but I don't think it's being reciprocated. You want something to be renewed between the two of you. You want something to be a uh, reciprocal. Let's see, reciprocated, reciprocal, could be, I don't know, that could be a word. But you want something to be, or faithfulness to be reciprocated. Let's see what's going on here. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, growth and transform. You may be telling someone that, or someone told you that, you just can't deal with the fact that it's over. Boat, yeah, receiving what you need, closure, issues, progression, um, moving on so you may be trying to move on let this go yeah ascending transcending transcending the obstacles learning new phase preparing for a different union or you know, another union the phoenix very nice new phase rekindle renew transformation growth change your mind maybe you change your mind about a specific person place or thing you're done you're moving on you know, at, at first you felt like you couldn't cope. There could be a masculine energy who can't cope with the fact that you're done. You're letting them know you're done. Your faithfulness doesn't belong to them anymore. Okay. You found out something all of a sudden, something that was misfortunate, something that surrounds the home or a dwelling. People are being expelled, evicted, out. You could have even um, just told this person you're done. You could have learned something that made you say, I'm done. You heard something. You overheard something. You read something. It's no second chances. Somebody treated you completely unfair. Let's see what this person has to say. Okay, let's go. What else is going on here? What happened here? What happened here between Taurus and their, yeah, the time is running out. You gave this person time. You need time to heal from this, to progress from this. This person really played with your mental, with your emotions. They played on your emotions. They're interested in talking to you, conversing with you, and they're awaiting your message. They're like hovering over their phone, waiting for you to reach out. You're heartbroken, they're heartbroken, deeply sad, grieving, mourning. But it's time for this to be over. It's done. This also could even indicate that this relationship had an expiration date anyway. It wasn't for a lifetime. Acts. Yeah, you done. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. You may not be saying anything and it's really tearing someone up. They can't deal with the fact that you are not engaging. The snake competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. There could be another woman. You could have been the other woman in this relationship, in this uh, situationship. Or there could be another woman. There's somebody waiting to weasel in, slither in. Girl with a snake, you could have been being charmed. You know, you're dealing with a narcissist. You needed to put up boundaries. You were being used. And I think you realize that. And now you're done. Yeah, somebody wants to work on it. Rebuild. They're interrogating you now. But this is repetitive. They're trying to be persistent. 
especially if you put distance between you and this person and you're not talking to them and you're done. I don't know if you found something out in terms of a conversation, in terms of what somebody said about you. You saw something, you found it out. It, it, I don't know. You have photographed. This person could be looking at your photos, missing you. Nostalgia, wanting to make new memories. Abundance, but the universe wants you to keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want. Okay. So that means when you go back to the drawing board, when you're ready, because you do need to do some clearing and some healing, but when you're ready and manifest exactly what you want, write it down to the T, to the T, okay? And try to be everything that you think your dream person would want in uh, their dream person, okay? All right, so let's see what else. Healthy choices, yeah, make healthy choices here. Um, in love and life, this period, self-care, being happier it's like something is being lifted a weight off your shoulders let's see what what you know what your person wants to say or what the situation is maybe it'll offer you a bit of advice in closing let's see okay yeah they're a player f boy f girl that's all they came around for that's all they're doing that's all they have to give that's all they were from the beginning so what i lied i'm a narcissist we got the narcissist word coming up twice now this is somebody here who will just um, say things to, to manipulate energy to get what they want. It's all about them. It's not about you. A cheater, a cheat. You could be dealing with someone who's a cheater or they cheat. Okay. Or they were cheating. Either Even if they didn't do anything physical, maybe they were keeping up conversations. They were keeping the door open. Sexy wife, somebody who... Are, who has um either a sexy wife, ex-wife, or current wife, or somebody um looked at you as a sexy wife. You know, you were a good choice in terms of um sex. If you call or text, I will answer. We had something like that come up in the other deck, right? So they're putting the onus on you. You call, you text, I'll answer. So they're not going to reach out to you. They want you to reach out to them. Let's see. This is just about the sex, okay? We had sexy wife. With, this is just about the sex. So somebody was keeping it about sex, or someone is saying if you caught them cheating, it was just about sex, or if they were cheating with you, they're saying, oh, it was just about the sex. You know, you knew that I have a wife or a husband or whatever. Yep. Someone saying, please work with me. Someone that you're walking away from. I love you. They're pouring it on thick here. Let's see. I'm so sorry. I was an idiot. I want to be single. And this is all they will ever be a liar, liar. Okay. This is somebody who wants to say, they'll say anything to you to get you to come back. Okay. Some of you need to heal from your upbringing. You may always be seeking validation, love from outside. And that comes from within. You may have not heard the best words when you were growing up. You're beautiful. You're pretty. You're smart. You're this. You need to start telling yourself that. Make that your daily affirmations, you know, type it out, write it out, tape it on your mirror. So when you wake up in the morning, you go to brush your teeth, you see that and you say it to yourself. I'm beautiful. I'm loved. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Some of you need to do the reparenting. You also just need to do the healing. You need to heal from your upbringing because you keep bringing in energy that you don't want. You keep attracting. Okay. Keep in mind. Um, you know, like attracts like. So if you keep attracting negativity, if you keep attracting people who uh, do not, you know, mean you well. This is about your choices. Uh, where, where was that manifest card? Yeah, no. Um, anyway, one of these cards is it. Yep, here it is. Abundance. You got to attract from an, a, a mind of abundance or a state of abundance. Okay. A mindset of abundance manifests ex exactly what you want because some of you are wanting love, but you're, you're manifesting love, meaning you're bringing in love from a place of scarcity, lack, not really feeling like you're worthy of love. Therefore you'll accept bad behavior, bad treatment. You'll excuse it. Maybe you even excuse it by, you know, firing back a few times. And then you say, well, that that's just our relationship. No, that's you needing to make healthier choices. So don't think this is just me telling you what to do. 
these I'm just reading the cards and you know, hopefully you're finding some type of um, resonance with it. You resonate with it. So this is what I have for you, uh, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let the energy exchange happen. If it resonates, say it resonates. Tell me how, if you feel moved to click that like button, um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. Oh, get your own personal reading. The link is below to my website. All right. Bye.